This is a quick video uh, to show you the student experience uh, for the Diet Master system. So when they get the email, they're going to have their login credentials and it will start prompting them to enter in their uh, profile demographics such as their gender, birth date, weight, and height. And uh, they just click next through the screens and they answer questions like, you know, their body type, um, how active they are in their profession, uh, what are their uh, health and fitness goals like weight control goals and uh, now this list can be limited to only a couple uh, or all you guys let us know also medical conditions that just produces a liability warning but doesn't stop them from proceeding and the profile is done next they're just gonna log meals uh, based on their food intake and they're gonna select uh, the date in which they want to start looking. It always default to the current date and click add food and they just start searching for foods in the food database. Now it defaults to the all category so uh, they don't have to like pull down oh I want to search the fruit category, I want to search the grain category, whatever. So they just start typing in the foods, searching for them, entering the serving and the measure and adding it to the meal and um, what you'll see here is how you can adjust the uh, serving size. Um, and more importantly, remember what we discussed is that all students should not be, like the reason why I put in the, the McMuffin is that is not a good data entry when you're trying to get uh, food group servings because an, a McMuffin has a grain, it has cheese, which is dairy, it has a protein, which is egg, and fast foods are not going to register with multiple food groups. So they have to break that down into a biscuit, an egg, cheese. So that's very important. Same with hamburgers. Uh, they do not enter in fast food items, but build them uh, as they log them. Uh, you can see here now that we selected the, uh, the, the snack category for the meal without exiting out of this yellow screen and it allows us to continue to log uh, without you know a lot of clicks so we're just adding things to the meal and then when we're done uh, we can review at the bottom and uh, where we are on macros and calories uh, then we can click on reports and the the popular report a lot of students run is this nutrient summary profile we set the date range for the number of days logged and click preview report now if the pop-up blocker is on they're gonna have to turn it off so that's a huge one with the students they click on that preview report nothing happens they want to know why it's a pop-up blocker and this is what the report looks like and they can scroll and see their intake averages for the three days it tells them everything they need to know and at a high level uh, that's kind of review of the interface and how a student logs their meals. If you have any questions, let me know and thanks.